couple things. Um, you know, obviously with just want to first of all thank we have a sponsor and, and her uh Leanne Moe um uh, always has some very nice things to say about higher power sports and what we do. So we thank uh Leanne for the sponsorship today. And uh the real reason she did it is because she's very impressed with my guest who we'll get to in a second. And uh uh, many people are impressed with my guest, including myself. So, um, you know, I want to thank Roman uh, for my being my guest yesterday. Uh, what an incredible story. Uh, you know, a missionary who spent a lot of time at Lower Brule and would still be in Lower Brule if, uh, but, you know, that that's the crazy world we live in that, uh, you know, he wants to do missionary work and, and uh, you know, he can't get a visa, uh, you know, even though three of his kids were born here. Um, so, you know, we pray that uh, as he welcomes in, the, as they welcome in their seventh child um, in the weeks ahead or months ahead, uh, that uh, wherever uh, his mission takes him, uh, he's happy and, and healthy as well. Uh, obviously, we want to just uh, everything with the COVID going on. We just want to wish everybody, uh, you know, health and uh you know, just, you know, I don't, I don't have the answer. I'm not smart enough for that, but, uh, you know, social distance, wear a mask, whatever you need to do to, to stay healthy and keep everybody else healthy and things like that. Uh, what else do I got tomorrow? Uh, not sure if I'm going to, I'm probably not going to do a show because of, uh, Booger Dwayne Heisinger's, uh, funeral tomorrow afternoon. And I, if everything goes well, I hope to be able to go out to that. So I don't know if I'll, I'll have time to do a show tomorrow, but uh, uh, we'll start up again on Monday with Monday and Mondays with Mick again, for sure. If we don't get something, you know, lined up tomorrow and uh, all my shows are obviously on Facebook live. So you can go back and look at them on Facebook live. And then I also download them on YouTube on the higher power sports YouTube channel. All right. So enough of me talking, let's get to our guests. We got two guests today. And uh, one guest that I've had on the show before, uh, Weston, uh, Weston Frank, I've had you on the show before. How are you today, Weston? Really good. Doing real well. Awesome. And then, uh, you know, we got a rock star. You know, you're, you're a singer, Weston, but, you know, your, your son right next to you, he, he's a true rock star, and we'll get to his uh, story. Uh, how are you doing today, Jed? Good. Good. Did you go to school today? Yeah. What grade are you in? First grade. First grade is, is that pretty hard? I had a pretty tough time with first grade. Not. It's, no. it's, it's not hard for you. Well, you're lucky because that was a tough one for. Well, they were all tough. Let's be honest. They were all tough for me, Jed. So, uh, <laughs> so so Jed, what uh, you know when you're not uh, at school, what are some things that you like to do? Um. Play my bed, watch YouTube, and go out in the living room and play farming simulator 19 on our Xbox One. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Do you? I did hope my dad got and come with him. Do you like to, uh, do you like to work on cars like your dad does? You just like to help. Do you like to? Are, are you able to drive a car yet? No. <laughs> no. I have to do the steam and the gears for our excursion. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's talk about, uh, you know, in the last week, Jed, there's been a whole, whole bunch of things going on in, in your life. Um, can, can you kind of tell me what happened? Uh, you know, how this started and, and kind of go through that. And Weston, if you want to help him through it, uh, you know, the story. Let's start. Let's start on last Saturday. So what we did was we counted out my piggy bank and see if we had enough money for games. Because you wanted a game for your Nintendo. Yeah. So, and what else did you want to save money for? I wanted to save money for um, a dirt Anyway. Anyways, so then um, you just you decided that you 
What did you? I unfortunately I was in the garage, so I didn't catch the. <laughs> um, I wanted to give forty dollars to charity. Yeah. And what made you decide to do that? Um, thinking that about the people who actually need help out there that need money to get food and stuff. Sure. Jed, Jed, uh, you know, when you say that, how, how did you know that there are people out there that, uh, you know, have t trouble getting food? They don't have enough money for toys and things that like, like that. How, how did you know that? I, I don't really know. Well, what about the church? Well, yeah, I learned it in church. So they, we had um, Kendra Klum came and spoke at our church um, about going to Haiti and talking about the, we always kind of reference it in our house about the bag of rice that they're given ration to, to eat off for a day. And so that kind of sparked some questions in our house about um, if there's people around here that can't eat. Um, you know, and then, and then he watches, uh, I tried messaging them. We'll see if they say anything back. But he watches the Mr. Beast program on YouTube quite a bit. And Mr. Beast gives cars, houses, food, all kinds of stuff away to people all the time. So yeah. it's, it's, um, you know, we think there's a lot of bad stuff on YouTube, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff too, because I mean, that's something he watches all the time. This guy makes a bunch of money and he, he gives it away. I mean, what could be better than watching that happen? So I think that's kind of where it came from. I and I, I said this too to somebody the other day. You know, we don't. Jill and I both don't give a whole lot of money to charity, but we do give a lot of our time. Um, you know, like the the Mitchell Roofing party this summer. Uh, multiple times that I've sang and done stuff. Um, I love one of my favorite charities happens to be high power sports. So, so, I mean, I've, you know, you know, firsthand, I've spent some time with you and, and we have done some stuff to try to do some fundraising and, and um, I, I give my time because I've always said that, that I can't always afford to give. So I have to give something. And for me, it's been, been time. Well, I, I think Weston, you know, we, when you say you're given time, uh, you know, when I talked to uh, Rowan yesterday, he said, you know, how in, important that um, just spending time with people is. And, you know, when we go and speak and, uh, you know, it's not just the time that we have in front of those kids. It's the, the travel time and all that. So, uh, you know, that is uh, very honorable of you. And I, I really appreciate all that you do uh, for others, you know, in that sense. So yeah. obviously, obviously that, you know, Jed sees some of that stuff. Well, that's that's what I was going to comment on. I, I guess I, I feel bad because I don't feel like I've taken the time to tell him that i don't i don't even think he knows that i that i go out with you and speak to kids um we might have talked about it recently since you're going to be on the show Do you mind we talked to you about that yesterday so you know i i am i feel bad because here he has this big heart and he showed me this giant gesture and i'm like man i didn't even take the time to show you this you just you just figured this out on your own <laughs> like it's crazy well it goes back to uh, you know, those little eyes and ears are watching even, even though we don't always think it or notice it, but they, they are definitely uh, watching. So scary thought. <laughs> uh, so, so you decided to give $40 to charity, Jed. Um, and you know, you, you learned it through, you know, watching your dad and listening to people in church and things like that. And then, uh, what happened after you decided to, you know, give this forty dollars of your money uh, to somebody else? Uh, we've just been raising money. Well, what did we what did we do right after that? We recorded two videos. Mm -hmm. We took a picture first, right? 
No, we, we took a video a picture, yesterday. Well, last Saturday, we took a picture of you holding your money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, we put it up on Facebook, and I asked people to, if they could match Jed's 40 bucks, because I thought that was pretty cool. And I don't know, I, I thought, you know, I, I tagged a few friends that I knew would would contribute, one of them being uh, Mark Fonder. Um, nobody's familiar with him. He owns uh, Barrel House and Craven over in Sioux Falls, um, Wilder Customs and a slew of uh, storage units. And he, he also is the president of Hungry Hearts over in Sioux Falls. And that charity does kids lunches for school. So anyways, I tagged him knowing he would be in for sure. And uh, much to our surprise, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard the noise that your phone makes when you receive a Venmo, but uh, it the phones just kept going and going and going. It was crazy. What did you think? It, 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 it was really fun to raise money because other people are out there watching. Yeah, I mean, we were just, we were just like sitting there in amazement. So just... You, you mentioned uh, the Venmo account and and hitting, you know, hearing that ding go off. You know, Jed, do you know how much uh, you've raised so far? No. I'd have to check today's checks, but I, I, I think we're, we've had a couple big donations. Um, we had Mitchell Roofing send one. We had Diamond D Construction of T send one. We had Medema Sanitation send. I mean, there's uh, North Central Seed. Ah uh, man, I, I know we're gonna have to put a big list together at the end because it was it's it's huge, but I think we're over. I think I think we're almost towards seven thousand dollars at this point. That's yeah. amazing, Jed. That's a lot of money, don't you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and you mentioned Jed, you want to give it to 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 charity or kids that uh, need something or people that need some food. Do you have a plan on? on how you're going to disperse that money? Yeah, we um, got a big check. We did, we did. We, got it, we bought a giant, we got it today. It's a giant check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a giant dry erase board check. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if we, we don't know, we don't know for sure. Um, Honestly, this I we didn't understand the magnitude of this. I, I think we raised a couple hundred dollars, and we would get it to feeding South Dakota or you know something like that. Um, but now that it's grown and it went from we're going to do food to now maybe we do some gifts too because it's the holidays coming up. We don't know. We don't know if we're gonna. We've we've talked with the Salvation Army and Mitchell a little bit. We had somebody contact us from there that they do the Christmas boxes and they always, if they have enough money left over at the end, they like to include gifts in the Christmas boxes. I would be on board on just making sure that everybody gets gift to or making sure everybody gets fed and they can take care of the gifts, something. Um, you know, ultimately we're gonna come up with a list of things and places that we think would be a good fit. And I, I feel um, that we should go through what everyone does and let, did choose absolutely whether we, whether we do one or if we split it up and go to three or four i don't know you win <laughs> isn't your hair crazy I, I, you want my your hair like mine no. <laughs> <laughs> so so jed you know it's all this attention you're getting um you know from you know, not only people on Facebook or, or Twitter, things like that on social media. Uh, and then you get all this mail. So that's got to be kind of fun too. opening a lot of mail, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, my mom's friend. Uh, grandma got some pirate stickers. Pirate stickers. There you go. Oh yeah, you should talk about that. So we don't want to encourage that, but a dear friend did send a 
a check to contribute to the dirt bike fund as well. <laughs> what? A, mo a motorcycle friend of mine. <laughs> Let's talk about that real quick, Jed. Uh, do you know what kind of dirt bike you want? Um, I, I really want an electric one, but here, this person <laughs> let me. I don't know about the electric one. Yeah. I think we would get like a Honda or a, or a Yamaha. <laughs> Something you could fix, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, it, Jed, have you ever ridden a dirt bike before? Y yeah. Awesome. I rode my uncle's with him on it, and I rode my friend Tucker's. Okay. Do you, I'm about to drive it. Drive when, it. Where do you want to Where do you want to drive it? Do you just drive it in the ditches around Mount Vernon, or um, you know what do you, what do you, what What's your plan with a dirt bike? Drive up and down Main Street. We got a big, uh, we got a big open lot next to us that I think we'll probably end up having a nice little trail around the outside. Then I just drift. I'll make the yard tear it up. Yeah. <laughs> then you don't have to mow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do donuts. You do, you do donuts in the yard? Yeah. Oh, I'll break the yard up. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good jed you know we got uh obviously thanksgiving coming up but then we got christmas you know you want a dirt bike what else do you are you gonna ask santa for 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 christmas do you think um, I, I i don't really know it's a long ways away for for you isn't it that's you know for for me every that's a long ways away i probably won't remember it but uh you know we, we hope that whatever you ask for, you get, because that's pretty special what you're doing uh, for other people. Uh, you know, Weston, obviously uh, your wife has a major influence on, on Jed as well. What's her, what's her take been through all this as well? I came in um, late Sunday or late Saturday afternoon to get ready for my show. And she was sitting in the, in the kitchen she'd been doing some laundry and she was folding laundry and she was sitting there with her phone in her hand with tears running down her face and um you know we, we've got notes we've got notes and all kinds of stuff of, of people just saying thank you we've got mail from strangers we've got uh, all kinds of stuff and and it, you know it's one thing if, if we if we needed the money or something but we don't even know for sure who it's all going to help yet and how many lives are going to be impacted from it but we know this it's going to be huge we know it's going to be life-changing it was life-changing for us in the first place and it's going to be life-changing for other people too I mean, yeah i i commented i don't know i said i posted in, in the other day when when i was his age um we were in that situation we i remember my parents sitting me down and telling me that you know Sorry, honey, don't don't expect a whole lot for for Christmas this year. By the grace of God, quite literally, I believe, you know, the church brought us some stuff and I, I never knew any different when I was that age. I thought mom and dad just figured it out, um, you know, but I think there was some help from the church there and, and uh, good thing there was because it I did never I never had to really feel that pain. I can't even imagine for the people that do have to feel that pain that don't have the money to have food or don't have the money and especially this year with everything that's been crazy i mean i you know there's plenty of people that are hurting financially this year this has been insane and for us you know we're getting to the part of the year especially with the way things have been changing by the day around here you know i got a weekend off again this weekend i, I wasn't supposed to but or, or pulling the plug on one for Saturday just because, you know, there's been some exposure and we need to minimize the risk at this point because, you know, if you got three staff members sick at your bar, you don't, not only should you not be open, but you probably, probably are sick yourself and don't want to be at work. Yeah. So all, all that adds up to is things are tight for everybody. And I think, one of my favorite songs in the world is is Merle Merle Haggard's uh, "If We Make It Through December," and the song is literally about getting laid off and not having any money for Christmas. 
and just if we can make it through this holiday season, we know everything's going to be okay. Well, that's our job for right now is to make sure everybody's okay. That's it's a job that we, Jill, Jed, and I have been given is to make sure as many people in South Dakota that we can get to will know that they can make it through December. Yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, like you said, it, there's so many people out there that, you know, that we don't know um, or that we know that we don't know are going through that tough time that are, you know, putting on that game face every time they go out uh, in public and or take their kids to school and, you know, trying not to let their kids see the heartache and, and the, the hardships that they're going through. So what a what an incredible gift that you're going to be able to give you know, whoever it is, Jed, that you give this money to or buy these presents for or get this food for, you know, that's something really special. And I, I, I know, you, how old are you? 17? No, six years old. You're six. Holy cow. That's amazing. You know, that's pretty special what you're, what you're doing. And, uh, you know, I know there's so many positive posts and things that you see out there jed but you know don't ever stop doing what you're doing okay can you can you continue to 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 do this for others for for a long time can you well, yeah but we're we're gonna do it for like maybe 20 weeks Okay. We're, we're, Tim, Tim means that he wants you always to be kind because him, his and I message when we go out is, is about kindness. We don't have to raise money all the time, but we should always be kind. Right? We talk about that all the time. You don't want to be mean to anybody. You don't want to make anybody feel bad. And you want to be kind to as many people as we can. Right? Jed. That's awesome. Jed, can I ask you a couple more questions before we wrap up? Yeah. You know, I know your dad is, is loves music. Do you like to play music? Yeah. Yeah. What what instrument? I, I know you got an instrument. I, was it last year for your birthday or for Christmas? Christmas. Yeah. What'd you get? Drum set. Oh. Are you pretty good at it? Well, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. There you go. I like it. I like it. Well, Jed, I, I really appreciate your time here on Facebook Live. Uh, you did a great job, and you're doing a great job, obviously, raising money. Uh, you know, Jed or Weston, if other people want to still contribute, uh, you know, how can they do that? to Jed's, Jed's fun to help everybody. Um, you can Venmo us at Weston Frank Live, W-E-S-T-O-N-F-R-A-N-K-L-I-V-E. Uh, you can send us snail mail. Uh, you can send it to Jed Frank at PO Box 133, Mount Vernon, South Dakota, 57363. Uh, write the check out to Jill or Weston Frank and just put in the memos uh, for Jed's fundraiser. Um, if you want to find that information, you can find it on my personal page and any of the posts. I think we've got hundreds and hundreds of shares and thousands of views and lots of likes and comments. And so they're, they're easy to spot. You'll, you'll know they're the, the most popular ones on my page, more popular than my music. That's for sure. Uh, well, for, for now it is, but you know, your, your music is always, uh, popular Weston and, you know, I, Sorry that you can't be out playing this weekend, but uh, like you said, uh, you know, we'll get through this uh, and you'll be back on the road. Well, you had a pretty good run. You got quite a few shows in this summer. We did. We got a lot more in than some other people did. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Awesome. And uh, Jed, you know, we hopefully people out here and I'll share, try to share that information on my page as well on how they can get you more money. Jed, we'll try to get you some more money so you can help more people. How's that sound? Okay. You got anything else you want to leave with anybody that might be watching? Um, if you're watching and you hope us, if you didn't, that's okay. But like my dad say said about Venmo, 
you can go there and send us some money or mail or something. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't just and that's that's definitely a message. We had somebody comment that they didn't want to send money via phone, and we said we had a check option. But over overall, we're not really concerned with um, anybody sending us donations. We mostly just want to promote to be kind and, and dear to each other, especially. I don't know. I mean, it's 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 rough lately. It's rough from from any side that you stand on on anything. So taking a pause and just being kind. I mean, I, I went at length the other day that we raised all this money and I know for sure that people that, that were Democrats to be this or supported that to Jed for the same cause. And that's, I mean, that's what's beautiful about it to me. Absolutely. And, and Jed, you, you want to say hi to anybody else out there, grandpa and grandma or anybody? Want to say hi to anybody? No? Okay. Any any of your friends? You think they're watching? Do they have Facebook? No! <laughs> so, one more question, Jed. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Cope. Oh. And like I said, I talked to you earlier and I said, you know, first grade, that was a tough one for me. So good luck in first grade, Jed. Continue to be uh, a great young man. Continue to be kind. Uh, Weston, continue to be a, a great father because you know that little boy's watching everything you're doing. And uh, we, uh, you know, I appreciate you and, and you always coming out and helping me uh, spread the message of being kind and inclusion and, and you know, overcoming all the adversity and things like that. So uh, just, you know, really wish you all the best of luck. Um, as we wrap up, you know, your fundraiser and we keep going with it and uh, we will uh, talk to you soon. Any, any last words, Weston? Nope. I just think, thank you everybody that's joined us on this. And like I said, we'll, um, I think we're going to, you know, keep going this week and we might take a, you know, the weekend's coming up. We're going to probably put another video together, share where we're at with things. And, um, and see if we can't make another push. We'd love to see overall if we could hit ten thousand dollars would be our, our goal at this point since it's so close. Yep. Um e either way, as soon as we see things kind of start turning trickle down, we'll probably then decide to pull back efforts so that we can we we've been waiting to make a decision based on how much money do we have. So once we kind of see things kind of taper off, well then we'll start making decisions where we're gonna go and then we'll start updating on that process because we even talked and I, I know we've done in the past where we've gotten groups together um and put food boxes together ourselves and so there's a lot of things up in the air right now so basically we're just going to kind of see where we land money wise and then go from there so we'll be updating people as often as we possibly can on it good then uh, let us uh let us know uh when you're putting things together if you need some help if you need uh, manpower to, uh, you know, get boxes together or, or whatever it may be. And we'll, we'll try to get as many people to help you out as we can with that. And, uh, you know, obviously again, you know, this all started, uh, because Jed decided to give $40 to charity. And, uh, you know, like you just mentioned, it, you know, it didn't matter if we we're Democrat, Republican, it, it, it's just shows that there's a lot of good in, and it just started with, a young six-year-old that uh, that had a good heart, and uh, what a, what a great story! And Jed, will you come back and, and let us know when once you you know decide where you're gonna spend the money and 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 who you're gonna help out? Not really. No, he wants to know if you'll come back on his show. Um, maybe yeah. <laughs> That's what. Jeez, tough well, crowd. I guess we'll say maybe. You know, they don't. They, <laughs> I appreciate you, Jed, and I appreciate you coming on, okay? Yep. All right. Weston, thanks again. And, and tell uh, Jill, thanks for everything. And uh, congratulations on, on the money you're raising and, and the people that you're going to help are, are going to for sure uh, have, a, have a good Christmas this year because of it. So thanks again. Thank you.